All right, so this was my artwork back in 2018, and this is my most recent artwork. All right, so how did I go from crap to slightly less crap in just a couple years? Did I study anatomy? No. Did I learn all kinds of crap, like that two-point perspective and other crap? No. However, I did discover a shortcut that not a lot of people say. And no, I'm not going to tell you to just keep drawing. The problem with this phrase is that it gets too easy misunderstood. When people say, I just kept drawing, they don't mean that, like, draw whatever comes to mind. I think that drawing from imagination is too overrated and it sucks. But anyway, as I was saying, the shortcut is to get a certain type of reference. So what type of reference, you may ask? So when I draw, I use references. Okay, I know I say this a lot in my videos, but just hear me out, okay? They're not just any kind of reference, they're good references. See, there are good references and there are bad references. A good reference is basically a reference that when you try to draw it, you can easily understand and break down that reference, if that makes sense. See, I never took art lessons and honestly, most of the time I have no idea what I'm doing. I just keep drawing until it looks less and less like crap. But these references help me to understand the rules, not through reading or learning about it, but through practice. So when I'm drawing, I go like, oh, so this is how you actually do it. But then I discovered another thing. What if your reference was someone else's art style? So this was the ultimate game changer for me. Okay, so you might cancel me for this, but hear me out. Because what if you wanted to have an art style that's similar to that style? Obviously, you have to know the difference between copying an art style and referencing. Referencing is cool and all, but copying is gonna get you cancelled. Although, can you really steal an art style? Is there some sort of art style geo that I didn't know about. Anyway, so this drawing of mine is actually based on this painting by this really amazing artist. When I saw this drawing, I was like, whoa, this is it. This is the art style that I want. So what I did was I copied it. Copying this painting allowed me to just get inside this artist's head. Usually when I use references, I don't completely copy it, which is actually what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to combine references together so nobody would cancel us. However, when I'm copying it completely, I can actually understand how this particular artist renders their art. It's like I could get inside their head. When I understood how their art style works and how they do their rendering and stuff, that's when I tried to tweak up a couple stuff like the hair. So once we steal an art style or multiple art styles if you like, we're gonna add our own flavor to it. It's like the ramen powder. All those art styles are just the same old generic noodles and they all taste the same, but the ramen powder is really what's gonna make your art different from others. Honestly, you could just do the boring crap like learn from nature. But to be frank, would you really want to spend so many years just trying to build up an original art style when you can just steal? Just copy other artists and then add your own ramen flavor to avoid getting cancelled. So this was a rather short video but I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this. Anyway, please smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool!